The Icarus Week 22 update just dropped, and it brings some big changes. Week 22 focuses on exotics. There are new exotic spawn locations, workshop items, and craftables in missions. There are four new items added to the workshop. First, there is a new exotic scanner and drill that can be brought into mission. The scanner does not require fuel or power to run. The drill does require a special type of fuel, which brings us to our third workshop item. Our third item is a new unique type of fuel that you can only acquire in the workshop. The new workshop fuel can be used in the workshop drill and is good for extracting one exotics deposit. Note that even if you don't use the fuel you bring into mission, it will not be brought back. It is a one-time use. Both the new drill and scanner act similar to the tier 4 drill and scanner with some minor differences. The scanner will cost 600 exotics to research and craft, and the drill will cost 800 exotics to research and craft. The workshop drill and scanner will both be late game items meant to be taken in on later missions. The last workshop item added is a refillable biofuel can. This can be brought into mission and used on anything that normally requires biofuel. Make sure to bring the biofuel can back out of mission with you as it is reusable and will refill upon returning to orbit. Previously to extract exotics deposits, you were forced to reach tier 4 crafting in order to make a scanner and drill. Now in order to extract exotics, you can either bring in the workshop scanner and drill or reach tier 3 crafting. Which brings us to our new in-mission craftables. Now unlockable once you reach level 30 are a cheaper version of the tier 4 scanner and drill. Both the tier 3 scanner and drill are slightly less efficient than the tier 4 counterparts. However, they can be obtained significantly faster. Note that the tier 3 drill and scanner use biofuel as power, which pairs very well with the new biofuel can added in the workshop. And the tier 4 scanner and drill now use electricity instead of biofuel. So now let's talk about the changes made to exotic deposits themselves. The spawn location of exotic deposits and missions, where they were guaranteed, is now randomized. Each prospect will have a selection of potential exotic spawning points, but which ones are active will be randomized and different each time. This makes exotics difficult to map and will encourage you to scout and discover rather than memorizing locations. For example, on the mission Spirit Walk, there were guaranteed spawn locations for exotic deposits. Whereas now, the same amount of exotic deposits will spawn, but they can be in one of several different spots on the map. This is to try and discourage memorizing routes and neglecting the exploration factor. I have tested deep vein extraction several times and all of the spawn locations for the nodes are still the same. I have also tested payday extraction twice and both times the exotics deposit was still in the same place. So if you were worried about your favorite exotics farm being ruined, both of those missions are still the same. In fact, I have a guide on deep vein extraction showing the best way to get exotics quickly. Feel free to go check it out. The last thing worth mentioning in this update is the change to how workshop items are brought into mission. With your character only being able to carry either a drill or a scanner, all workshop items will now be accessible inside your drop pod. This means that any armor or tools as well as the new workshop items will not be on your character at the start of a mission. So make sure you grab them out of your pod. And now if you've made it this far into the video, consider liking and subscribing. And go check out this guide on the best way to get exotics. Thanks for watching.